Okay, so here we are at the Guandi Pacific Model Railroad, and it is January the 6th, 2023, and it's... Well, it's front end Fridays, but mm, I don't think uh, no F unit Fridays or front end Fridays. Well, whatever. We don't have any F units running around today. This GP10 right here is uh, moving cars in Silverville uh, at the current time. He's the local, and he's got all those cars set out back behind the depot. And Dave Ustoff is uh, running the local. Uh, to make it all work okay and uh, over here we have a I guess 1500 twitcher and this is uh, oh here's the new uh, Ardvark Valley Arkansas Valley Railroad um, know Joe uh, very well for many years when he lived down in New Orleans and uh, that's his private road name you can get these mm, shop uh, uh, there's a company making all these private label cars and I'm going to have to go look up the name and add it in here uh, the uh, he's switching this is the grain ethanol train uh, it goes around the railroad and it makes all of the uh, grain and ethanol stops and since we do a lot of ethanol business on this railroad he's working ADM right now he's got a couple of cars he picked up one and he's got a couple of cars to set out well maybe just one okay all right and uh, still have some buildings left from Jim Laughlin's. This is all that's uh, left on the buildings. Mr. Laughlin's layout. Um, I guess I'll take this point in time to make a mention. Uh, the train show, San Jack, San Jacinto Model Railroad Club train show in Pasadena, Texas, at the Pasadena Convention Center, is February the 18th, a Saturday. It is a one day show. Uh, we'll be there with uh, all of the what's left of Jim's uh, stuff. Over here, Tim is working uh, the Rollins uh, Summit. Who's the Rollins branch? No, no it's Summit. Toland Summit. Toland Summit lo Local. He switches all these uh, industries back here. And basically, the cars come out of the tolling yard and go back to the tolling yard. That way, the uh, manifest freights can pick them up. Uh, yeah, he's doing his thing back here. I think he's got uh, the only uh, ugly Pacific engine on the railroad. Okay, okay. There it is. That was a uh, leftover from Dick Schneider. It uh, was a tough year last year. <laughs> a lot, a lot of good people uh, off playing trains with a better group of people these days. Uh, FYI, this is a set of F Athern Genesis F units that's got decoders in it. Uh, I put the decoders in. These are Jim Laughlin's. And... Uh, it's got the uh, headlight and uh, Mars light. Well, it's got a headlight and uh, the Mars light comes off and on, but it's not a, it's not programmed for the Mars light. Uh, and the cars. These are my cars, but I have this whole train uh, new in the box. What I'm looking for here is $600 for the entire train set. There's 10 cars and the two engines. Uh, so if somebody wants one of the three California Zephyr trains, uh, this is about as prototypical as you can get. Those are Broadway Limited cars. They're lighted. Uh, last time they sold, when they released them, they were $89 a piece. 
basically asking forty dollars for the cars each, and then uh, the two hundred bucks for the engines. Both those units are powered. They run great. I'll see if we can run them around here in a minute, and uh, so forth. But uh, I have all the cars in the boxes there on the other side of the room. But uh, that happens to be my train. But the engines and the, a set of cars just like that will be. Uh, I have another set, and the cars are in the boxes, so I didn't want to go take them out the boxes. So anyway, uh, oh, Dave's coming up the Helix D. Uh, no Name City Turn. Got to come up here and work No Name City. Mm, it's fun. Uh, it's got three places to work, and then go back. It's a quickie. It's a turn that comes out of the uh, junction yard down here. This is junction. Uh, the other side of the room over here is golden, and that's the two ends of the railroad as far as this division. Yeah. And, of course, the ethanol grain train will come over here eventually and work the ethanol plant and pick up some of these... Uh, full ethanol cars and uh, switch out some of the empty grain cars. The ethanol cars then go up here. Eventually some of them will make them up here to the gasoline, to the refinery where they're making gasoline and the ethanol will be blended in. So anyway, we have some more work to do here on uh, Apex. Uh, we got a couple of buildings we can we traded out with Mr. Laughlin stuff that we're going to work in. And uh, we've got all the conveyors now for the uh, Rocky Gravel Aggregate Company. And we're going to change out some of this uh, global coffee distributors building, which is two parts to it. There's another part down there, uh, which he's calling something else. But we're going to redo all that. And that's why there's no ballast on the track back there. This is a good point. Now, let's cover this. Uh, this is strictly a switching area, industrial area. I can tell you it's been changed three times already. Uh, and this goes back to about 2009, 2010. We started working on this area. Uh, it's 2023, people. Don't get in a rush. <laughs> so that's the reason why there's no ballast on the track. Uh, none of the rail joiners are soldered. Uh, that way, if we decide oh, we don't like it, we can come in here and change all this very easily. Uh, it's worked. It works real well, but... Uh, we're at the point now where we need to... Uh, we're not going to make any more changes so we need to take the buildings we have work them in and give them permanent locations and say okay this is it and uh, start doing the, some of the uh, scenery and stuff and uh, finish the area up so this is uh, apex industrial it's on the and this is this track right here is the main line for the Apex and Silverville Railroad. It's a branch line you know, run by a Class 2 railroad. Uh, I don't think we're running the train today. The ethanol train will come over here uh, with trackage rights, but the a a and, uh, a and S train is, I don't think is running today. That's the local that goes between Silverville and Apex. The ANS tracks in right down there where that switch is sitting. ANS uses uh, some uh, leased Rio Grande engines. But uh, it comes up here past this. Okay. Oh. oh. There goes the uh, No Name City Turn up here. Oh, 
It's got the uh, one of the Crescent Line engines on it. A lot of power there. Three GP to 35s. Well, I think a seven car train, I remember when I made this one, I printed it out. And the box cars were overloaded. Oh, the box cars were overloaded, okay. All right. See, we can make a story up. You know, we have modeler's licenses. Everybody in the room's got a mod, so we can we can justify anything we want to. As it goes through the uh, flat irons division area. Just a few people don't know that's all styrofoam. All cut with a hot knife. It's amazing what you can do. Uh, I talked about the cars. That this is the this is the set of cars right here. New in the box. Ask about 40 foot cars with roof walks. Again, I'm going to tell you we have a modeler's license. When the FRA broke up the UP back in 1980, we were given, the Grande Pacific was given trackage and we were given some right of ways in the railroad. One of it was the Tennessee Pass. And uh, when we opened up the old tunnel, we found all these 40-foot cars in them. So we put them into captured service. He's pulled out the cars from the uh, XYZ paper recycling company. So we run these cars around all of the railroad. Uh-oh, we got a little disaster going on down here. Uh, uh I mean, we, you, all right. so anyway, he's working the 40-foot uh, cars that are full through, they're being used to re move recycled paper and stuff and various things. We also run less than carload loads between the stations. You see all the 40-foot cars back there behind the station. We promised the people up in the mountains that they would have service because some of the big trucking companies didn't want to go up here and do this. So we do LCL, less than carload. Okay. So he's switching out the uh, XYZ paper company and uh, Acme Manufacturing. Acme's got a big presence on this road. Every now and then, you see the road runner go by. Okay, so the group's over here, and this is Friday, and we're running trains. <laughs>